A recent UN report says the current carbon market encourages countries like Guyana and Suriname to cut down their forests. More in this report. The current carbon market encourages the cutting down of some of the world's biggest forests, including those in Belize, Guyana and Suriname, which would unleash funds of climate warming carbon into the atmosphere, a new study reported recently. Under the Kyoto Protocol aimed at stemming climate change, there is no profitable reason for the 10 countries and one French territory with 20% of Earth's intact tropical forests to maintain this resource, according to a study in the journal Public Library of Science Biology. The, the Kyoto Treaty and other talks on global warming focus on so-called carbon credits for countries and companies that plant new trees where forests have been destroyed. Trees and other plants observe carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas emitted by petroleum-fueled vehicles, coal-fired power plants, and humans. At this point, there is no credit for countries that keep the forests they have, the study said. According to the study, the countries which have not been the target of deforestation have nothing to sell because they have not deforested anything. This, it said, creates an incentive for them to start deforesting and will allow them in the future to cap and trade. This means that they can put a cap to deforestation and trade the piece that has not been deforested. The countries most at risk for this kind of deforestation because they all have more than half their original forests in act are Panama, Colombia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Peru, Belize, Gabon, Guyana, Suriname, Bhutan, and Zambia, along with the French territory of French Guiana. According to the study, these countries need a system of credits to involve them in the global deforestation avoidance market. Under this system, these countries could agree to keep deforestation rates below the global average and get credit for how much below the average they are. Besides carbon greenhouse gas emissions, this system could offer other benefits that intact forests provide. Intact forests protect watersheds, encourage pollination, and preserve biodiversity. Almost 20 to 25 percent of world carbon emissions come from the destruction of tropical forests, but this issue is not at the center of the global warming discussion.